Hello, I'm Margaret Chen, the Director General of the World Health Organization. In selecting climate change as the theme for this year's World Health Day, WHO aims to turn the attention of policymakers to some compelling evidence from the health sector. The reality of climate change can no longer be doubted. The effects are already being felt. Continued warming and unstable weather are considered high probability events. For health, climate change will be a high consequence event. The warming of the planet will be gradual, but the effects of extreme weather events, more storms, floods, droughts, and heat waves will be felt acutely. Both trends can affect some of the most fundamental determinants of health air, water, food, shelter, and freedom from disease. Climate change is a global phenomenon, and all countries will be affected, but the health consequences will not be felt evenly. Developing countries, and I would like to emphasize, developing countries will be the first and the hardest hit. Climate change will provide an additional set of stresses in many already fragile areas with marginal living standards and thin margins of survival. Extreme weather events, like storms and floods, cause injuries, deaths, population displacement, and outbreaks of diseases like cholera. Other projected changes in the climate will aggravate what are already huge and stubborn problems hunger and malnutrition, diarrheal disease, malaria, dengue, and poor hygiene that allows diseases to flourish. In short, climate change can affect health problems that are largely serious and mostly concentrated in developing world and difficult to combat. On this World Health Day, I am announcing increased WHO efforts to respond to these challenges. WHO and its partners are devising a research agenda, an agenda to get better estimates of the scale and nature of consequences for health. We will also identify strategies and tools for health protection. Better systems for surveillance and forecasting and stronger basic health services can offer health protection. Citizens, too, need to be fully informed of the health issues. In the end, it is their concern that can encourage policymakers to take the right actions urgently.